watch our custom fence be built start to finish see things we learned along the way upset neighbors gonna make it look stupid. to being able to sit back relax and enjoy our work no no daddy Oh. Dusty hair, we've been working in dust. Dirt. Just prepping this for when we get our land. We're gonna be doing a lot of damn yard work. Sun hat on, got our load right here. I just gotta take all these posts out of here. Um, want you go ahead and drop them in the holes, and then we're gonna start busting open these bags, pour it inside the hose. So we went ahead and got the fast setting concrete, it's way more expensive than just getting it and having to mix the other bags, but it is what it is. Round two, right? You see that purple paint? This was marked down 70%. Hello. Can't beat it. Had to join it. This too. This boy actually pivot to the right. So this is kind of like a trial and error run. First time doing it. Started off by slicing these two by fours in half. The blade on this table saw was not sharp. So I started cutting them with my hand saw there, my circular saw. And then just used the chop saw to cut them to length and just nailed them on up. Made a little spacer in between them. And made sure I used the level to make sure these boards are straight. Some of these panels only put like one nail in it because back in my head I was thinking like we might have to pull them off if it don't look right, but you let me know how it turned out. Reaction. <laughs> <laughs> you good, though. Somebody's probably not gonna expect you did it. Right. You know how, like, people be like, oh. Where y'all bought them panels from? We're like, who did your own fence? And then you be like, oh, I did. And then they'll be like, really? Oh. 
Doing this when they get the track check, you might never do it. Right. Okay. Man, it's <laughs> we might need three inch nails. I, even though it's holding, you can feel it. Like with the three inch ones, I can nail one right here in the middle and it'll go straight through and go to that wood. But if I use the two inch, it ain't hitting that wood on the other end because of the space. Wait, how many is this? 12. So after doing our quick math, comes out to be $91 per panel um, that we pretty much paying for. Instead of buying for the pre-panels, so like the ugly panel you see over there, that one is $75, I believe, at Home Depot. I don't know. Let me know if y'all have paid $20 more to have a panel that look like this instead of the typical fence. We the only ones over here with this style fence. I'll tell you one thing, it's already showing how closed off it's probably gonna start living. I might put a four by four in the ground or I can just screw a two by four to the house and then run the boards left and right. So we just gonna pretend that you ain't got a whole new gun. Girl, I've been had this. No, you didn't. Yes I did. I just so got that. Like this one lighter. It is. It's lighter, but the only thing about it. That's cordless. I gotta carry it down air tank everywhere for this one. All right, so I'm about to get ready to throw up the two by fours on these posts right here. Then we're gonna throw on some more slats. All right, so me and Bay finished up these three panels right here. The time lapse actually stopped and uh, the phone died. But these panels is looking real good. We got about some six foot panels right here to cover that up. We also ran out of nails too and got to get some three inch nails because I wasted a whole bunch of nails nailing up um, these two by fours right here. So I ripped these two by fours down so we had something to nail to and I've been nailing these with the two inch nails and they really ain't even going that deep. So now I'm gonna have to re-nail all of these with three inch nails. And I wasted a bunch of these nails putting all the two by fours on the other um, post over there. So, but in the meantime, what we got to do, ma'am? Make some post holes bigger. Yep. So over here by the house, this gate right here, we was gonna do a swinging gate, but I've been really wanting to do a sliding gate for real. So that's what we are gonna do. So I had to make this hole bigger for the six by six and then we're gonna put a four by four right here. So we gotta dig another hole. And then over here, um, I might just put a four by four right there instead of a six by six, but we're gonna see. Um, but I gotta put that there. I put my strain line there so we know where the property line at and where I'm gonna put the gate. Cause we already got some issues. We don't need no more. And then this one here, this one is already deep enough, but See that this uh, slab right here in this corner is sunk down. So we're gonna break this up, pull that up, and then um, pour the concrete. We're gonna pour it in this hole right here and then pour this little corner right here too. Cause what's happening when it rain and stuff, water just collect right here and end up going right here against the house. So we're gonna tear that up, put new concrete there so everything can flow. So when water come from back here to backyard, it's gonna flow right over here to the drain. And we all got a big dog. This is the issues that happen. Big dog and kids. See the screen tore up from the dog and the kids. I think really the kids did that. Uh, I sound like to stick his hand through holes and then you pushing in a little hole and make it bigger. Now it's ripping off. And the dog ain't on help that you got paws all on there. He's scratching it when he want to knock on the door and it's time to come in. <laughs>
Okay, so it's time to go on home people. What we was just talking about. You need to go in there and we becoming the manager. Like, hey, you, come on, you <laughs> grab your little mink mink. Let's go. We right. come to this Home Depot. They play games. You'll be in here two hours for real. We work here today. Man, follow me. Me me. Look at him. <laughs> He's starting there. He's been on that work. Y'all two don't even do this job for real. Oh yeah. Oh crazy. <laughs> Y'all making that money though. So, what we up to, handsome? So, you want to know how to unload a trailer under 60 seconds? Get a dump trailer, bitch. <laughs> no, but look. So, we got this heavy pallet in each concrete bag, the four by fours and stuff like that. So, what we gonna do is we just gonna lift up the dump bed and let it slide out. Yeah. If everything breaks, and we gonna say what we gonna do, but. <laughs> or <like that> kind. <laughs> Wait, man. Should we move the concrete though? I feel like those can bust. Mm, maybe. Maybe. You sure y'all wanna move the concrete? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's gonna be the first thing to fall. This don't make sense. It don't make sense. It don't make sense, man. It don't make sense. Babe, all the concrete gonna fall. <laughs> oh my God. All the concrete gonna so fall first. Now it's even easier because if you put the concrete down, it's gonna slide down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> What's the odds? I'm talking about, I know what I'm doing. Oh, look. <laughs> Oh, baby. What? It ain't going to nowhere. It's too heavy. I ain't going to lie. That don't look good. I like that one. Oh, that's too easy. Should have moved that dang on wood. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm ruining the dangerousness. Go, go. And, 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 and you know what? I'm gonna pay a Home Depot. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Nope. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, is it gonna crack the wood? Ooh. No? Mm. Oh, it's huh? Yeah, that's what I was thinking that was gonna happen. But it seemed like if you go slow, it, this might actually work out pretty fine. Oh, that's raw. The way it's folding it up. <laughs> it's like pushing it back up. Wait, babe, what did that lady say? This life I got. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, that works. Think I'm like that. Hey. Babe, you broke literally every piece. <laughs> um, so this is the aftermath.
side of the yard are we claiming? They said, look. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> that's why, I mean, the city gonna be coming out. About to get ready to go ahead and throw this post in. We gave them a bunch of time to move that rose bush, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this post in. I got my bucket of water, got my concrete there. I'm gonna start with this one here. See, I got my string line. So let's get it. At this point, you're probably like, wait, what happened? So you see that warm fence? Well, that's the neighbors, and they have part of the garage and land closed in. And basically, they did not like that we wanted to reclaim it and fence it in with the rest of our yard all at once. So if you're wondering, like, okay, well, did y'all give a heads up? Yeah, multiple times. I just think they didn't take it serious. They even tried to make us feel bad for reclaiming it with tears and yelling because they planted freaking sentimental things along the side of our garage, even though they had plenty of space around their yard and time to make accommodations. Then, once told we'd even make it look neat by putting their same style back on their side to avoid a gap or a bad look, they put up a fit and said, no, just put a fence up on your side, which will cause a gap and a piece of their fence to be missing, seeing our fence. Basically, it's going to look crazy. But you know what? There was a lesson in this. Don't let people get comfortable using your stuff because if the shoe was on the other foot, they would not allow you any level of comfort, even if they have to tolerate being uncomfortable too. And if your neighbor is being nice enough to let you even use a part of their yard, don't put nothing sentimental on it. Simple. I can fill it up to the top so no dirt. And get around the post and run it out. I know trying to make it perfect like this won't take longer. So the person you're about to see is actually their son and he was the only one who actually was thinking logically about the situation and understood where we were coming from. Hey, what's up? Oh, I got a little bit more done today. <laughs> yeah, I see. I got all those in the ground over there. I thought we were just gonna fall up against this one. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I would have done to fade it off. Yeah, you would have had that more extra room. That's what yeah. I thought you were doing. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, but your dad didn't want me to. Why? So. He's no, that's your property. Yeah. He's gonna make it look stupid. Just come straight off of here. I mean, yep, yeah, that's what I was telling him to make it look good, especially on the other side. Yeah. So I guess he didn't want me to. It'll look stupid, now it's gonna be on my this was surveyed, so I know this was in the right spot. When they put this up, they came out and surveyed it. Mm -hmm. And it said three feet off that garage right there, whatever it was. Yeah. That's why it is where it is. Yeah. See, yeah, and we got a, like ours is surveyed too, especially back there. So that's why I got the string hooked on to the post. Mm -hmm. And I got it ran this way, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's gonna look silly. But yeah, I'll definitely get that rose bush out tomorrow. How big are your panels? Why? Six foot? Um, eight foot. Eight foot wide? Yep. I'll stick on this way and sit up and down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, build them in piece by piece. Would have been easier to grab the panels. I probably would have been done. But they didn't have the style that I was looking for. So I gotta build it. 
That's what I did. I had to do for a corner over there and a the corner yeah. by my house. So it's still fill a new hole. Yeah. That's what so I would do. Eight foot from there is where this bag is. I feel like it's going to go up there. Well, what's this here? Between here? Between uh, there and here? So from here, well, you're talking about these two holes? Yeah. You could always go from this. Yeah, well, that hole, I'm going to have to dig this one off back over because it's too far in. So I'll have to. Put it like back here. Once I get the push out of there? Yeah. So, that one I'm not really uh, It'd be easy. Well, you want it back to where that one is. Right. But that's what I was wondering at first while they're so far off. Mm hmm. Because this was the original one. Remember, well, when I first had it mapped out, I was measuring off these posts. Right, it's come straight across. Yep. I don't know why it's come through that anyway, man. Yeah. yeah. All off. I'm gonna be done for the day. I just kind of wanted to do that one post, make a statement, and let them know that uh, we coming. So, got that one post out of the way. It's weird, man. I'm gonna have to do them posts over. It's just that shit is like way off now. So, after all the shenanigans with the neighbor in the last video, it's gonna make it look stupid. We're back. But this time with a dingo because we're just gonna dig more post holes and close in the whole yard. And to be honest, after the headache we were given, this part was satisfying. <laughs> So we back on the fence. We got the back done back there. We still got to put up a post in the ground and then throw those up there. So what I'm about to do right now, shush. About to slice up these two by fours, nail up these two by fours and put them on all these posts so we can have, actually, so we can have something to nail to. Let's hurry up, see it and got rainy out here. We had to stop doing this to go do a repair at the rental, but back to it. So when it came to this side, we actually found a way to save a little money because the posts were put six feet apart. That way we could get a standard fence picket. Doing it this way saved hundreds of dollars because on the other side, the posts were eight feet apart, which caused us to have to buy eight foot one by sixes. And yeah, that added up.
Mud gang affiliated. <laughs> We are now finally at the end stage. We're about to get ready to install the gate. We'll actually build the gate and then install it. Also, the gate might not turn out right as long as I got this shirt on. If you about your family and business, head over to artlife.com and copy you one. So you can splash on that bit. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so we're about to get into actually cutting our boards down to the right size we need. Over. This is gonna be 72 and a half. This is a perfect example why you can't trust that the wood is the perfect length six feet or that they like straight cuts because both of these are supposed to be six foot and just look at how much more longer this wood is compared to that one do you think Artie feel grown now because he just that's the second time going over there he's like oh snap i got another little avenue truck make sure all this is nice and even and i'm making two cuts at once just so i know it's the same length by stacking them on here because they both gonna be on opposite sides of each other so i don't want one a little bit shorter or taller and with a 10 inch blade is able to cut like four inches of wood like this so these are gonna be the bottom and the tops of the gate and then these here is like the height of it that's how technical we ain't really got to lay it out like that but but you want it to and that's what now instead of just doing like this it'll actually be stronger if i do it like this here but i'm gonna cut these like halfway all right so half of this gonna be shaved off and half of this gonna be shaved off i'm gonna do that cut by putting on the table saw here so this is, should be like three quarters half of this so i'm gonna put this height of this blade right here at three quarters and then I'm pretty much just gonna run this over this blade and then it's gonna cut it halfway and then I'll be able to overlap these two pieces. Sound like a bunch of drippers sit and watch. Glasses and mask, because you don't want to breathe in this pressure treated stuff. You don't want to breathe in these chemicals in this wood. Let's get it.
what I gotta do is take a chisel and just chisel out these grooves right here. I uh, got my chisel and my hammer. I'm gonna get ready to knock all those little pieces out so we have a flat surface and then we'll be good to go. Just got done doing all like the shaving and stuff off of here, man. I used the chisel. That stuff actually took a little bit of time. It's better watching somebody else do it on time less because it seems way quicker. Chisel that down. It got it pretty much smooth, shave, even, so that can overlap nice and we ain't got like no bunch of grooves and stuff like that. So I did that on all four corners. As you can see, it's just gonna lap over. We got them all overlapped as you can see. I don't know if y'all want yours like this, but see mine got a little lip on there. I didn't go all the way to make it halfway. I thought it was gonna be like that, but I really didn't wanna do it like that because I thought it was gonna be like a little weaker, but I like mine like this because it's a little thicker. And then I always think about these edges breaking off right here. Um, I don't know if everybody's, anybody's ever broke off like that, but I just like it thicker right there. So I got these inch and five eight screws. I'ma actually put some wood glue on here first. 15 minute hole, waterproof. Supposed to be used for exterior. So we're gonna go ahead and go with this one. Some people use like that ultimate three. I want to get this a try and see how this works. We're going to take this glue pretty much, spread it on here, spread it on there, then flip them over, throw the screws in there, and then that'll give it a tight hold. So I'm going to go ahead and do this first, and then we're going to do the cross brace. Wherever the hinge is, yeah, so I'm going to have to take it from here to here if it's standing up like this here so it can prevent it from sagging down. So definitely need that. That's one of the most important pieces there, but let's get it. So to make this cross brace right here, what I'm doing is laying it down. I've actually put the two by four underneath the frame. And what I'm gonna do now is come down here and then mark on my pencil, bang, bang. And then I'm gonna cut that off like that and the same thing down here. So I'll go ahead and mark that. Actually, well, this kind of be more so in the middle of the two by four, so. Go ahead, just take my hand saw and cut that for real. Circle saw. I wish I had a Craig jig, but I don't. So now I'm gonna angle these screws in. And what I'm gonna do is to pre prevent the wood from splitting, just put the screw in, reversing it, make a little pilot hole first, and then shoot it through. Now I'm gonna actually put some wood glue in between these grooves too. Well, we're done for building a gate frame. So what I'm about to do now, go ahead and slap some pickets on. And then after that, I'm gonna throw on my hinges right here, the hinges I'm using. Um, I actually bought these hinges for my trailer doors, but I'm actually using them for this gate. The only thing I don't like is, um, I got six by six posts. That boy is gonna get screwed in pretty much on the edge of the post. I would like it if I had some hinges that go in the middle of this joint, but it is what it is, I ain't really tripping. I guess I could do it like this here, but the gate will just start like over in this section, so we'll see. But let's throw on these pickets. So 
course, the camera died as I was putting up these last planks, but I'm gonna show y'all the fence when I'm done. But right now, we gotta put on these latches right here. At the top here, we're gonna go with like a slide latch, just a simple slide latch over so the top part can stay connected. For the bottom latch, we're gonna actually use a lockable cane bolt. So, pretty much lock into the ground, but then we can put like a padlock or something like that on it. So, we're putting a lockable cane bolt. Um, that's gonna drop into the ground here. They got a picture right here. And then for the top latch, we'll be doing that there. So we got the latches on there. Top latch. We got the cane bolt down there. I still gotta go get a drill bit so I can drill down there in the concrete and get hole there. Last thing is actually filling in this space right here so the dog can't sneak out and nobody can walk in. I got these Tapcon screws, three inch Tapcon screws. Um, these is actually some scrap pieces of two by fours. Well, I don't even think they actually two by four. They're like two by two or something like that. But these actually came underneath the pallet when we got um, all these pickers and stuff. So went ahead and drilled these to the house itself, um, to the brick. Um, two strips on there and then on the other end I went ahead and drilled those on the fence and what I'm going to do now is same thing how I put these up so cut the little pickets and cover up that whole little space and we'll be good to go so let me know what y'all think about it down below all these items are going to be down in the description project finally complete long expensive project Okay, too much air, I need to put that on.